Welcome back, CSC 103, to part two of our 17 EC extra credit of random SpongeBob, at least for this semester, for spring 2021. And what we've done so far is make sure our HTML works. I had a little glitch there, but make sure my CSS works to make this image larger or smaller. And, and notice it, it actually just using percentage, it actually just based on how big your page is. So we might change that as well. <laughs> Again, I think I'll go back here and just put, uh, I think I'll put it back at height since now I think I have it working since I was using the pick and it wasn't working. So I'm gonna do 300 picks for the height and I'll run it and see how that looks. That looks good. So that should stay static no matter what we do with our page. And now we'll go back to our JavaScript and I'll give myself a lot of room here so we don't have a lot of things breaking on double lines here. So these are variables that represent these URLs that we're gonna plug in to show the image. And what we're also gonna do is make a list of names and make a list of colors. Let's make a list of names. So we're gonna say var and we're gonna call it names and we're gonna say equals, and just like a list in Python, we're gonna use a square bracket. So we're gonna use square brackets, and we're gonna put names in here. And we'll put SpongeBob SquarePants. We'll do it in the same order that we're doing here. SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, we have these all done, except these aren't variables, so we have to highlight them and just put quotes, and it should put quotes around them. That's what's nice about using an IDE like this. You could highlight them and put quotes. If you're doing this in Word, it would replace the stuff with quotes, but it knows to put quotes around these names. So these are our names and there should be five. Just to try it out, you could go down here and copy this line. And instead of get element by ID of pick, you could put name. Because remember name is the H2 element. It's this one here. And that's underneath the image, or it should be. And then the name is gonna be, now, you could put the whole name there, but what you can actually do, and this will kind of help us in the future, we're gonna put the variable names. Now that's the list, but how do you know which one from the list? Well, actually, if we're doing Larry, he would be zero, one, two, three, four, five. He would be the fifth element in the list. So you would actually use another square bracket inside here and just put five, and that should be Larry. So Larry is the fifth in the names list. Let's run it and see if it works. And there it is. It actually works. So there's Larry Lobster. Now it's not in the color that we want. We didn't put colors in yet, but it's working. So we know that's working. So we'll go back here. So that's how that works. Now we're not going to use five. We're actually going to use a random number uh, when we do this, but at least that's how, that's why we're getting a random number. This kind of leads ahead because we're going to use a random number from zero through five. So zero will be SpongeBob, five will be Larry. That's how we'll actually pull these images out and make them random but we're gonna to have to make some random code to do that. So everything's working so far. Uh, we don't have a list of colors yet. If we wanna do that real quick, uh, we can copy this and just paste this and we'll call this colors. It doesn't matter which order it goes in. Uh, the sample had colors in front of it. Now SpongeBob, I think is, you could just gold. Now, Patrick Star is like pink. You could just use pink. Now, I'm just using numbers. Now, if you didn't know, like let's say you were like, uh, I don't know, uh, you could go to assets and just go to colors and just look for a gray, like whatever Squidward would be, like something like that. And it copies that number and then you could X out of here and you could just go in here and just put that. that that's fine. You, just so you know that that's Squidward. And then for Sandy Cheeks, if you wanted to use brown, you could just remove that, go to assets, find a brown color like Sandy, like a squirrel color, maybe there, that one, and paste that there. And same thing with crabs, he's kind of a dark orange color. So you could type dark orange because that is a name that you could look up, or you can just go to assets and find a dark orange color. There's a dark orange color, it's copied. You could go here and paste it. And there's the dark orange and then Larry Lobster uh, he would have something similar, I guess. Uh, Mr. Krabs would probably be a similar color. Maybe I'd go a little bit darker. Actually, I'm going to paste this one for Larry Lobster, and this one is Krabs. So I'm going to get rid of this one, and I don't know. I guess they're both kind of red, but I'll go to Assets, and maybe I'll make Krabs a, a different, I don't know, a different color, just a little lighter or something. And 
then I'll paste that for Mr. Crab. So you could use names or you could use hex numbers. So if you wanted to find a better pink color, you know, you weren't sure, just go to assets, find a good, find that one that looks good, hex out of here, and paste that. So you could use all hex numbers if you want. And I had broken this line, and I'm going to put it back here. Now it doesn't matter if you have a space after the comma, just as long as you have a comma. So those are my colors. Um, so, you know, if you were going to change that color, let's do this. This will prove that it's working. If you were going to go here, you would say the list colors, and then it would still be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'd have Larry's URL, we'd have the fifth name, or the fifth element out of this list starting with 0, which would be Larry Lobster, and then the color would be that dark orange. So if I run this, and run, oh wait, I have an error. I have an error down there. Color. Oh, colors. Look at that. It's called colors, and I had color. So that was an error. Now, I don't know if it tells me. Reference. Click on that thing. Uncaught reference error. Color is, an undefined, is not defined, meaning it's not recognizing. When you see something like that, it means it doesn't recognize that word. So I'll put colors in here because it's looking for a variable named colors, and I put color. Now let's run it. Save it. And it's not using the X color. I know what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong here. Uh, I put inner HTML. So it's just putting that in there. I don't want inner HTML. What I want here is I want name. See, it's just replacing the name with the color. I, I haven't done this for a while. This would actually be style.color equals that. Let's see if this works. Look at that. See, if I make a mistake, maybe it'll prevent you from making a mistake. So I completely messed that up. So so those work fine. The problem was I didn't change this. I just copied it and threw it in there. So this should be the name for the H2, but instead of inner HTML, because inner HTML is just writing HTML. This is actually changing the style color. So that's why I need dot style dot color equals that. So just remember that I just made that mistake. That'll be important uh, in the future. So if you're watching it and you're like, what is he doing? Uh, I just made that mistake. So I'll leave that in there so you know not to do that. So it's working. So this stuff is working and this is gonna be part of our function. So we have our colors, we have our URLs, and we have our names all ready to go. We just need a random number. Now, I just wanna show you something here. I'm gonna go down and say var, rn, which for random number, equals math, I'll start typing this here, math dot random, and it's coming up here, so then it should be right, and it's a method, so I think we have to use our, our uh, parentheses there, and I'll just put a semicolon, and I'm going to do something called console log dot log, you might not know what this is, but in, in here, this is just a test, and I'll put rn in here, and what I'm going to do here is just output the random number just to show you what's going on. So I'll open up console down here. And I'll clear this and let's just run it. And don't worry about this stuff up here. But what it's actually doing is it's running random numbers down here. And they go basically from 0, 0.0 all the way up to 1, to 0 0.9999, which we don't want. So what we're actually going to have to do is before we use our random number is we're gonna have to actually I think we could do this we can multiply it by six we could put it right here we could just do that times six and let's run it again and see what happens down in the console see now we're getting anywhere from zero three point five and if you keep doing this you'll see different numbers except what's gonna happen it's gonna go all the way up um, it won't go down to zero, it'll be above zero, so we're going to round it down so we go from zero to five, because it's going to go all the way up to six. So we're going to round it down from zero to five, and the way we'll do that is we'll just do rn equals, we'll just kind of reset rn, and we're going to do math dot, I think they have floor, which will round it down, and we're going to round down rn, I think we have to put rn in there. So we have to round down itself. Whatever number comes up here, it's rounding down. So it's going to basically be rounding down itself. So let's see what happens here. I know this is kind of confusing the way it runs a random number. But we should now get random numbers with floor that are anywhere from 0 to 5 is basically what we're doing. There's 5. And we shouldn't have anything above 5. We should get a 0. You can keep testing it to see if you eventually get a 0. You know, I'm not going to keep doing that. But uh, I'll know eventually I get a 0. 
because I know that'll work. There's zero, so we have zero and five and you won't have anything else. So this is the code that we're gonna do to actually write our function. So we have everything working here, so I don't need console anymore. And we, we, we can keep this here because this is gonna be part of what we're doing, but I was just testing it out in the console because there's no other way to test it out. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a function. So let's, I'll do it right down here and then I can pull stuff in here. And the way we do a function is we do function. You don't have to say equals, you just give it a name. And it's gonna be show, show character. Now you could use capital letters. Sometimes with JavaScript, they'll use camel case where you start off with lowercase and then put a capital C in the middle. You could do that, I guess I'll do that. Now I'll put my parentheses there. And unlike Python, we don't put a colon here. We actually put a opening curly brace and then hit return. And then everything that's inside our function is gonna be in here. And actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you can copy this, or maybe you didn't even do it yet. And I'll put that in there. And I'll just tab over so this stuff looks nice. I don't need console log, because we're not gonna use console log. We just need the RN. And we're actually doing it first. So we have RN, and RN is gonna replace this. So instead of using five and saying it's Larry, we're gonna use the random number that's generated. And it has to be generated each time. That's why we're doing it in here. So we're doing it as part of the function. So it generates a new random number every time we run the function. So that's gonna happen first. Then what's gonna happen next? Well, then these things, we could put these things in our function. I'll just cut that out of there. Put them after here, because we want the random number first. And I'll tab these over so they look nice. And now instead of this, we're gonna use the list name and instead of a number in here uh, of these things. Now we didn't make a list for these yet, so we still have to do that. So let's make a list. Let's go here and actually all these things should get semicolons. So if you didn't do that yet, now's a good time to do that. Put semicolons after all these. See, we're still working without it, but you don't wanna be trying to troubleshoot and think, well, was it the semicolons? All these things should probably get semicolons after every JavaScript statement good thing to do is put your semicolon at the end, not inside the function, but after these, you should put them. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'll just, I'll copy this. And I think what we're gonna do is call this images because we have names and we have images. Unless we just wanna use image, but we're using names, colors, so we're using plural, so I'll keep that images. What you could do here is, I guess I'm gonna delete all these, it might be easier. And I'm just gonna copy this and paste and put a comma, and then copy this, paste, comma. That way I don't have to worry about anything else. Copy, paste, comma. That way I don't have to worry about spelling it wrong, any of that kind of stuff. There's Sandy, Krabs, make sure you don't forget the commas, comma, and I'll paste it. So they're all in there. So I have five variables in this list, or an array as it's called in JavaScript. So I have an array of variable names, which actually match up with these URLs. I have a array of strings, which are actually the names of the characters, which go down here. Then I have an array of strings of colors, which are actually gonna change the CSS color of this, of the H2 element, which we're, we're doing right here. That's what this is doing. So we're changing the text of the H2 element with the ID of name, and we're changing the color of that. So that's what's gonna happen here. So this stuff is gonna change. This will not be five, this will be RN because whatever number comes up is gonna be the one we're gonna use. And instead of Larry here, we're gonna basically just go with images, the array, and then in square brackets do RN. So now this should show a random character and a random that. Now, because we now build a function, now we have a function here, we didn't call the function yet. So you can test it down here. Again, what's nice about JavaScript, you could test it before you actually use a button, and it's actually coming up. So I could do show character, and put parentheses, and I can put a semicolon, I guess, and then just run it. And we'll see if these things are working. There it is. And let's just look down there. There's Squidward Fancyson. I'm pretty sure that's his last name. There's Patrick Starr. So all that stuff's working. You could test them all out. Now it's gonna be random, so you're gonna have repeats, and you know, there's Sandy is working okay. There's Larry Lobster. We just didn't see crabs yet. Okay, it took a while, but we finally got Eugene Krabs. So we got Mr. Krabs there, and the color looks fine. So this is working. So this it's not working on the button yet, but it's working when we run it. So what we want to do now is take this, and I'll just cut it out of here. And I'm going to get rid of this semicolon and just cut this. So I'm doing Command-X, and if you're on Windows, do Control-X. And instead of doing the function call down here, we're going to go up into the HTML, 
and we're going to go inside the button and we're going to say on click and you can click here and do that and then say equals and then put quotes and then inside the quotes is where you're going to put the function call and it should have the parentheses in there so it's going to run that or call that function when you click on the button now let's see if this works if this works we're we're almost done here so there we go let me save it okay so this is how it starts let's try it out there we go let's try it again let's try it again it's working so this is working colors look okay if you wanted to change a color if, if you thought spongebob color was too light you could change it and maybe make his pants color or something like that you could always go back and change that but that's okay for now and that looks pretty good so our stuff is working so you know if you stopped here <laughs> that would be fine but the one other thing we can do is we can make a reset button so let's do that in part three we'll come back in part three we'll do a reset button and then if you want to change a font we'll do that but that's part two if you did this uh you, that's pretty good if you wanted to stop there that's fine because it's actually working so if you want to copy that and get credit for your extra credit that's fine but stay around for the one video we'll do the reset just to make this stuff go away and then we may change the background color and change a font here and there in the css so we'll do that in part three but for the most part we have this thing working and in case you need to look at the code or if you're like oh my god that happened so fast let me just show the code here in case you need to look at your screen we have our variables of all the urls and then we have a list of the variables that are the urls so this is just kind of a shortened version of these so it's just putting them all in a list or an array and then the names are all in an array and then the colors are all in an array and then we're we're making them take effect down here in this function called show character and then the show character function is being called when we hit the button and we're using a random number we're generating a random number from zero through five that's going in here and remember it says times six but that's rounding down so it's rounding down to zero through five and that random number whichever one comes up if it's zero it's going to be zero 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 meaning it's going to be spongebob spongebob squarepants and gold so it's lining up those colors so we have the list set up so they're all in the same order so that it can just use one random number so we wouldn't have a random name and a random color and a random image it's the same random name image and color working together so in part three we'll just kind of do a reset here and maybe do a little bit of css